Linda Moore. <coughs> Hi. Um, I just had a Bible question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Sure. Do you have a minute? I don't sure. want to interrupt or anything. Um, oh, no. No, it's fine. Well, I've been reading about um, some of the teachings on the website, <coughs> and I was just wondering about this one verse. It's um, first, first Timothy 1, 2. Okay. It's short. You want me to just read it? Yeah, if you will. Oh, okay. It says, To Timothy, my true child in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. So... I mean, in the light of the view of Jesus just being a created being, a creature, and an angel, um, how could he be a source of grace and mercy and peace in the same way that God is? Um, this would take a while to explain. <laughs> um, it has to deal with him being God's firstborn son and the uh, role he took on as our savior. Um, if you go, if you're on the website there, you can go under where it says search, mm -hmm. and you can actually put that scripture in, and it'll give you the explanation for that. Well, I, I just wanted to get your thought on it. Um, like I said, it would take some extensive explaining from my point to be able to do that. And extensive, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. You know, it's not. It seems to be saying that he gives grace and mercy, you know, mercy being um, not receiving what you deserve, the punishment that you deserve, and grace meaning unmerited favor. So it's just in the light of just being a creature, you know, that will be, and it's kind of putting him right there with God the Father. Like these things originate from God the Father and Christ. You know, it's not saying somehow, like u using agency or something, it's just saying it's from both. How can Christ give mercy? Like, we don't really get that from angels, do we? No. Um, mm -hmm. Christ is not just an ordinary angel either. He's God's firstborn. He's a mm -hmm. Savior. Um, what he did with his life, buying us the opportunity to be able to have a relationship with God, is because of his love for mankind, would be showing mercy. Okay. Um, and then also, you know, because Christ is such a big difference from what I'm used to, I was kind of researching more into, like, the New World Translation. And uh -huh. um, it seems like uh, there's just a fair amount of scriptures that are altered from, you know, standard and enduring scholarly translations. And they all, almost all of them have to do with Christ. Um, it's really interesting. How, how do you think like there's a, um, an agenda there or something? No. Um, hmm. The New World Translation is translated mm -hmm. as close as possible as one of the, as close to the manu original manuscripts, the oldest ones found. Mm -hmm. um, give you for instance, and if you look at an old King James Bible, it's Psalms eighty three eighteen. Mm -hmm. It uses God's name Jehovah. Mm -hmm. Sure. You look at the newer one, and it's been taken out. Oh well, there is a note in the front about that, and everybody knows, you know, that's what the capital L O R D means. If you just you know look at the note, but um, well, you said that they translate as cl close to the oldest manuscripts that we have. Yes. Then why did they insert Jehovah into the New Testament? Because there aren't any that have the Tetragrammaton well, in the New Testament. Yeah, there are. There are. If you do research on that, if you look it up in the, you can look it up on Wikipedia or the Encyclopedia, mm -hmm. however you want to look it up, Google it. It will show you that in the Christian Greek scriptures, they did use Jehovah's name. Uh, well, it's just quite the opposite. I mean, a lot of people make the point about of concern about the New World Translation. Like even Jason Badoon, who kind of favors it in some ways, says that that was, you know, <laughs> that was unwarranted. Uh, what what qualifications do they have to to make all those changes in the Bible? Like the who who translated it and what was their qualification? 
be real honest, um, again, I would have to research oh, to okay. give you the exact names and everything, obviously. Yeah. Um, but if you look on the website, you can look under the New World Translation, and it'll give you the answers to your questions as mm. well. Well, I think I saw on there, it did say there's no New Testament Greek manuscripts with the Tetragrammaton, but they have this like um, conspiracy theory about it that all the Jehovah's were removed. So that would have yeah, to I have would, a lot of have... proof about that, you know? Like, yeah. it would kind of also indicate that the transmission of the Bible isn't real reliable. Well, if, if again, like I said, I can I can research it. And yeah, get back yeah. To you on that, but, uh, okay, okay. So, I mean, it's just kind of spur of the moment. And, I know, and I know. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. And, um, I mean, if you use other sources, too, I mean, JW Facts has a good section. Oh, you do? Yeah, and yeah, there's, a, you... there's another website that's all about, like, this one issue, like the Tetragrammaton. It's called the tetra- Tetragrammaton.org. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. I didn't know any witnesses that would look at other websites, really. Well, you, you know, we do our research, obviously. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Uh, you know, like my yeah. church doesn't tell me not to look at JW Org, you know, or take a watchtower yeah. or something. I wouldn't stand for it if they tried to tell me that, you know. <laughs> I'd find yeah. that really disturbing. But I notice witnesses won't take anything from traditional Christians. It's almost like they're kind of paranoid. I've noticed that. Uh, no, it's just if it's not teaching what's actually in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, anything that's in there that they don't agree with, they can show you from the scriptures. Mm-hmm. The next time they're at your door, if you want to ask them, mm-hmm. you know, just ask them what they, you know, they feel on some subject and let them explain it. I guess so. We could do the same thing to Jehovah's Witnesses. And if, if everybody used that kind of reasoning, no, no one would take your, your things either, you know. <laughs> Yeah. We have the truth. We're not going to take that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, well, check out tetragrammaton.org. It, it does get really deep. It's, I think you'd be really interested in it. And um, okay. I'll, I'll look on your website, too. Okay. Thanks for okay. talking. God bless you. you See ya. Bye-bye. Is this the Kingdom Hall? Uh, no, uh, but I uh, I am a Jehovah's Witness. The so calls are coming to me right now. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, I just had a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Did you need to speak with an elder? I can connect you to someone. Oh, well, I'm sure if you have a minute, I'm sure you would know. Okay. You might know. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Um, well, I was uh, reading an article on JW.org. Um, I've never been a witness, but I like to read about religion and things like that, and a Bible, you know. So anyways, I was reading this article from the Watchtower. It's called, Do Not Let Doubts Destroy Your Faith. Oh, yeah. I thought it was really interesting because, um, you know, it says that um, we should, um, well, I can read you a little snippets of it, but it says that um, at times you need to suspend acceptance of something till you are sure of the facts. Religious exhortations to the effect that you should just believe and should doubt nothing are dangerous and deceptive. And... Um, It says, a loving Christian is certainly ready to believe those who have proved trustworthy in the past. But God's word also warns against putting faith in every word. Sometimes a person's past record gives legitimate reason for doubt. So, this is a very interesting thing to find in a watchtower. um, Because, I mean their past record does give a lot of reasons to doubt that they really are God's only channel. Right. Well, Have you ever um, considered I that? I don't know which article you're, you're specifically talking about. I can give you the reference. I can definitely have someone call you back. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't, I'm not, um, be honest with you. Oh, okay. Well, I, I asked you if it was a bad time. Uh-huh. So I could definitely have someone call you back and you guys can um, talk about it. What's, what's, your, what's your thought? Uh, you sound very intelligent. I mean, what's, what's your thought on having an article like that in the Watchtower? It really surprised me because it might um, 
spark even witnesses to look at their past record, you know, to see if they should be doubted or if they should be believed, or is that just for other religions they're talking about? Like I said, I would need to see the article. Mm -hmm. I can give you the reference. Would you Would you like to have the reference on that? Give me one second. What? Give me one second. Oh, sure. One second. Right, ready, sit down. Okay. Um, okay, go ahead. Um, it's the 2001, um, July 1st, page 18 through 21. Now, what's the name of the article? Do Not Let Doubts Destroy Your Faith. Writing it down. Okay. So, I want to read it. Okay. And see what you were, what you're talking about, and then what's your name? Christine. And I'll definitely, if it's okay with you, I can give you a call back. Oh sure. And I'd love to go over uh, their past record to see if, you know, their people would have a legitimate reason to doubt them. Um, they do not have a very exhaustive uh, compilation on their website. You know, just a few things they list, beliefs clarified, but it's really not very... Um, <laughs> there, there, there's much more clear, complete, you know, compilations online that you could see. They even give all the references and... Um, it's pretty shocking when you look at really the whole history. Right. And when, is this a watchtower or a wait? This is a watchtower, yeah. So if you if you would oh. like to, you know, check their past record, um, I'm pretty well versed on that. The, the watchtower's past record. Because it says, you know, you, you, uh, reviewing their, a past record sometimes gives legitimate reason for doubt. So it's, huh. it's great to have this magazine that encourages looking at the past record. I, I was very surprised to see that they would encourage that. To look at the Watchtower's past record? Yeah, I mean, you can certainly apply it to them. I don't think they want you to, but... Yeah. <laughs> Why would? <laughs> I don't think there's anything they they are hiding. Oh, really? So why not? Oh, well, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, something. let's do it. Yeah, when you see the entire oh, company. Welcome to. Yeah, and they and remember that when we look at their past record, um, we also have to look at the terminology they use. Did they use terms like "we're just regular people"? This is what we happen to think now. Don't worry about it if you don't agree with it. You know, no, they said all those things were from Jehovah, meet in due season from Jehovah, not from any man. God's dates, not ours. So that is not as easy to pass off. You know what it, I mean? It, yeah, well, you know, it's it, the, the way you're looking into it. If uh -huh. you're going to look at it and find the flaws and find the interpretations of something and make it something that it's not, you're always going to find stuff everywhere to question. Do you think it's okay to say things in the name of Jehovah that are not true? I don't think it's okay to look through and try to find and make things up. Oh, right. I wouldn't make it up. All or these interpret them in your way so yeah. that it proves the point. Do you think saying... You. Do you think so, saying... You know what? Um, this is not going to be productive. Oh, it really, it really could be. But this is not productive, so yeah. don't, don't, don't go for that type of question. I, oh, you know? I see. Okay, so this it's article not, doesn't apply to them, just other religions. You know, it's, this is directed at I'm not saying at other... anything like that. Uh -huh. You are putting... You're interpreting things your way, uh -huh. and that's not going to work. So thanks for calling, and you can do your research and make up your own. Yeah, do yours. You want, do you yours, to too. JWFacts.com um, is great. JWFacts. So, JWFacts. No, thank you. God so bless you. God bless Bye -bye. you.